Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. It's Ellen back here and we're going to dive right into this soap today because I got a lot going on. Um, here is my oils that already have all my additives and goat milk and oil. It's all ready to go and I have the fragrance in my oils and it is orange sickle <laughs> from Wholesale Supplies Plus and this smells fine. It smells just like an orange sickle and I'm loving it. And the reason I chose this fun scent is because I have these embeds and I want to do sort of a cartoony fantasy I'm gonna call it dreamland landscape soap and I have these little um, soap embeds that I'm hoping will look sort of like little Dr. Seuss type trees in the landscape I have several different sizes I also have some little sunshine embeds that I want to put in there and this is colored with Sunday fun day from wholesale supplies plus um, these trees are from uh, my apple cakes video where I made donuts and little bunt cakes. I had a bunch of leftover batter and so I poured it and I just thought these were adorable. So I, I was trying to think how to use them. So I'm going to make like a little fantasy landscape. Um, so for the colors, the grass, I'm going kind of off colors of not real grass. So I have this lily pad green, which also it has like an aqua color. So that's going to be the grass portion of this soap. And then I'll put my little trees down. And then for the sky, I have this azure blue mica. And, you know, hello, gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? So I will probably, uh, this does have a little bit of vanillin in it. So I will probably do a titanium dioxide swirl in those colors in each layer just to make it really kind of, I don't know, I'm thinking Dr. Seuss, <laughs> Seussical fun. So, and that's what made me think of the orange sickle. And then on top, I want to just maybe do a scoopy top and I have these jojoba beads. Um, so they actually, each little tiny bead has a, like a drop of jojoba oil in it. So they're really nice and they're pretty color. So I'd like to sprinkle those down on top just to carry the whole fun theme. So that's it. I've already got my oils prepped and ready here. I just need to kind of get my embeds lined up and figured out how I want to lay them in there and we will get to making soap. All right, I'm almost to get ready to get started with my lye solution, but I wanted to show you how I lined up my little trees. This is the top for my soap mold so I could get an estimation of what I'm going to need. So here's my little tree line. <laughs> so I'm hoping they just look kind of fun and fantastical and, you know, fantasy land is what I'm hoping for. Actually, dreamland. That's what I was just thinking of, you know, child's children's books and bedtime stories, even though this is a sunshine, you know, it just made me think of a dreamy, seussical landscape. <laughs> well, anyway, I, all right, so I already have the fragrance in here, like I said, so I will be blending very lightly here just to get up to emulsion, and then we'll get to splitting for our layers, and I'll stick blend more aggressively once I get the colors in there. Just there and you can see it start to caramelize with the milk and that's good and normal and everything it's supposed to do.
All right, it's the next day and I can't wait to get in here and see <laughs> how this little dreamland came out. Those trees were trying to tip over on me. It was a little bit, a little bit of a hot mess getting in there, but anyway, I like the top and I kept it kind of just low and subtle because I want all the attention to be on the inside of this bar. So I'm excited to get cutting on this one. Let's get in here. All right, it's time for the reveal. I'm a little nervous and I'm a little surprised at how close these two colors are. I'm really hoping that you can see the difference in the cut bar. So I'm gonna cut with the jojoba beads down. I don't think they would cause drag marks, but just in case. They're a little bit squishy, but you know, why not? So jojoba beads down, let's cut. Oh, I'm a little nervous here, people. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see here. They are fun, but look at those two colors are so similar you can hardly tell the difference. But I do think they're really fun and happy. And let me tell you this orange sickle, yum. It's a, these are very happily fragranced also to go with it. All right, let's keep going because you know these are going to go get different as we get into them. Oh, there's some with little trees. These are cute, but yeah, that disappoints me that those colors are so similar that you can't really tell the difference, but they're still adorable. I think my grandchildren will love these. They're kind of happy and cute and silly, and they smell really fruity-licious, so it's good. It's all good. So note to self, I'm going to have to mark that on those bottles that those two colors are super duper similar. I love that some of these have different patterns on each side as the tree layout. Oh, that one was right on the edge. I can plane that out. And also, because of all the embeds taking up volume in my soap mold, these are really tall for my bars. So they are going to be a little weightier than my normal bars just because of the embeds increase the volume so much. All right, here we go. So this one has two Z on this side and one Z on that side. <laughs> they almost look like ship sails, to be honest, doesn't it? It kind of looks like a ship sail if I may. Oh, maybe next time I'll do boats and kind of go with that. Kind of fun. I'm always wondering what to do with extra batter, trying to come up with creative ways to use it. So let's keep cutting. All right, let's get into this middle layer here. I love those jojoba beads. They're really cute and pretty. All right, again, it kind of looks like a ship sail to me and less like a tree. I think it's the angle. I'll have to keep that in mind for the future, but I think these are cute. All right, so there's one kind of tree, and there's another. They're fun. This one, you can kind of tell the difference between the sky and the grass a little, but boy, not much. Soap sides are really pretty. I love soap sides. 